Banath has mentioned representing Hungary. And one of their most famous sons is in attendance this week because Aiba appointed Isvan Kovac, Koko Kovac, the Secretary General of Aiba earlier in the year. Two time world amateur champion, two time European amateur champion, Olympic gold medalist in 1996, went on to become a professional world champion as well. And great to see him involved, somebody who knows the, the sport inside out, back to front, knows exactly what athletes need. Always good to have somebody with that kind of that kind of knowledge and experience on the inside of any organization. So here we go. Into the start of round one. Laszlo Banath of Hungary in the red. Krzepiet of Poland in the blue. Krzepiet looking aggressive here. I think he's got a slight problem with his head guard there, maybe, Banath. That's not the first time we've seen that. Or maybe it's just the way he holds his his gloves when he's taken the guard position and he just drops down to a knee there, Krzepiet, and well, he's got an issue with his. It's not quite tight enough. Okay, well, they seem to have sorted that out. He made an aggressive start there, Krzepiet. Looking for a right hand there, though, Banaf. Kind of came over the top with that one. A nice combination on the inside from Krzepiet, just finished on the, on the uppercut. Good quick start from both of these two. In Banath, you've got the, the fighter with the longer levers. He's got a definite reach advantage there. Not much of a height advantage, but a real reach advantage. You can see he's got long, long arms. And he can try and keep us on the outside of feet if he wants to, if he's so inclined. Krzepiet needs to get closer. And does just that there, left hand to the body. Right hand came in from Banath, but it was kind of around the top of the head. Took his feet back there, Bernath, as Krzepiet was closing in and had the opportunity to counter as he was pushed back to the ropes. Didn't quite take it, but that's what he will be looking to do because he knows that Krzepiet has got to move in and move in quick. He's got to close that gap rapidly so he can get, get into the kind of distance where he can let his hands go. Look at that right hand come out there from Bernath. It didn't land, but you just get an idea of the, the kind of tele telescopic arms he's got to an extent. Sometimes you look at a fighter and, and you look at their arms just drop down by their side. And it, it's a common thing because having those long arms is something that suits you as a fighter. Lovely jab there from Banaf, and that just caught Krzepiet as he was on his way and completely offset him. And he had to take a step back and, and start again. And Banaf really should be doing more of that, looking to do more of that because he's got that distance. And he could, if he could just hit Krzepiet with that jab, it doesn't have to be clean to the head. It can be anywhere, shoulder chest anywhere then it's just going to take that balance away and make him start again did it again there there was nothing really on that but it doesn't really matter it just stops him jab again there from from Banaf. i think he's realized that that really is the the potential shot for him Just dipping his head a bit there, Krzepiet, as he was trying to, to make his way in. Left hand there from Banath, who's been more dominant as the round has, has gone on, I would say. He's done a lot of good work here, Krzepiet. He's had some success, certainly. Looking for the big right hand at the end of the round there. Banath didn't quite land it. And Krzepiet has got it with four out of the, four out of the five judges there. He was aggressive. He was always looking to come forward. He threw plenty. Most of it, I didn't feel really got through, but the work rate was certainly there. The 10-9 comes from the Guatemalan judge, Pastor Emerson, who goes in favour of Laszlo Banath. It was a close round. It was a close round. I felt that the, the better clean punching was probably done by, by Laszlo Banath, but it was a difficult one. It was a difficult one to call. But he's got his nose in front there, the Polish youngster. And Banath has got to get on the jab more. He's got to get on the jab more and use that, that reach that he's got. Seconds out, please. 
wraca, lewa, kup... tam głupi ciosy spadają. Round two. Jab to the body there from Banaf, and again goes upstairs, and you just see the head snap back there of Krzyzewiet, who's just touching with his lead hand. Right to the body there from Banaf. Looking for that left to the body there, Krzyzewiet. Didn't quite land it, but good jab, good jab, just as Banaf was looking to, to open out himself. Good fight, this. Nice right hand on the inside there. There's a real sense of urgency about these two. Banaf, particularly in this second round, just trying to cuff Krzyzewiet with that right. Straight right, followed by the left from Banaf. Right to the body from Banath, who isn't giving Grishep yet much space to breathe in this second round so far. Holding those gloves low now, relying on the reflexes, shoots that right hand through straight, but Grishep yet manages to elude that one. Referee deciding to break the fighters there. They were already about two or three yards apart. Left hand there as he moved away to his left from Krzyzewiet. And good jab. He throws a good jab every now and again, just as Banaf is looking to try and open out. And he's maybe just slowed down a bit here as we enter the final minute of round two, Banaf, because he put plenty into the first couple of minutes. He's turning southpaw, and Krzyzewiet just having a bit of joy here. Gets up tight, throws a couple to the body. Big single shot there from Banaf. Looks to try and work on the inside. Most of that was blocked by Krzyzewiet. Krzyzewiet then just looks to try and walk it back to the ropes and they both end up squaring off having a word with each other. The referee has got in there and I think did issue the, the instruction to break. Bit messy in the final stages of the round. Left hand there got through. Krzyzewiet was just knocked back onto his heels and he gets pulled back into the corner there by Banath and Krzyzewiet did just kind of pin his arm as well. The referee needs to get hold of this a bit really because he's not really making himself all that clear at times as to whether he wants the fighters to break or whether he doesn't. And you can sense their confusion at times. So that's the end of the second round and the scoring of this second round will be absolutely critical. He looks young, doesn't he? Really does look young. So, Banath has got it with all five judges in that second round. He's got a two-point gap with Pastor Emerson. With the other four judges, it is level. So now what this comes down to is this final round. It comes down to this final round. He's got one in the bag there, Banath. That one, top of your screen. He's got that one in the bag. He's got that one under control. So he needs two more out of these four scorecards to go his way in the final round. And that will be enough. Prishepiet needs three out of those four. So we should see an entertaining final round here, that's for sure. Into the third and final round. Laszlo Banaf of Hungary in the red. Jakob Krzyzewiet of Poland in the blue. Nice left hand there, just dabbed out by Krzyzewiet as he managed to move Banaf back towards the ropes. Banaf looking to try and, and get on the jab, and this may well come down to conditioning, to fitness. I did get the sense that Banaf was maybe just tiring a bit towards the end of the second round. Krzyzewiet, again, just walking him back to the ropes. Banaf just trying to manhandle him a bit and turn him towards that red corner. 17 to 19, the, the age bracket for the youth championships. And when you look at these two, Banath is physically a lot more mature, you would say, than 
Khrushchev yet. So the pole is, has given a real good account of himself here. That was round the back of the head, that right hand from Banaf, but he wasn't completely at fault because Khrushchev had, had pirouetted slightly. Heading up towards the midway point of this crucial, absolutely crucial third and final round. And Khrushchev just asked by the referee to keep his head up. Every now and again, the Polish fighter just looks like he's kind of stopping of his own accord. A right hand there from Banaf, and he's looking for the referee sometimes to, to get involved. Good jab there again from Banaf, short right hand crashed through as well and he's just outworking Khrushchev yet in this final round so far the Hungarian remember he needs two out of those four level cards he needs to win it with two of those judges this final round and he's and he's home and dry and Khrushchev yet just backing off a little bit he's feeling the pace now I think but now switch southpaw there briefly and just shaking out those hands just needs to keep pumping the jab here, really, Banaf, but just stood stock still. Good right hand from Banaf as Krzyzewiak just, just dipped his head and looked to try and come forward. him on the break there the referee I think had issued the the instruction to break and he just threw in that right hand he apologized for it immediately into the last final stretch of the fight here the remaining 20 seconds and Banath is is heading towards a win here you would say that he's winning this final round Krzyzewiak as I said before this is a this is a top effort by him because he's in with somebody here who as I said is is He's got serious advantages on, on him here physically. The bell goes at the end of the third and final round. And Banath is, is pretty confident there, I would say. Just a reminder that going into that final round, he was two points up with one judge, and it was level with the other four. And Evgeny Zorov of Russia awaits the winner of this fight in the next round. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of bout 36 by a unanimous decision. From the red corner, Laszlo Bernat, Hungary. So Bernat gets it. He makes his way through. And all four of those judges there went his way in the, in the final round. All five in total, but the Guatemalan judge at the top already had him out of sight, really. Pastor Emerson, he scored it three rounds to nil in favour of Bernat. And the Latvian, Bulgarian, Turkish and Russian judges 